What did we get there? Oh, just a regular other sword. Worship sword. Just checking, sounds good. And. Clean. No torsion. 28 armor, increased warrior damage. I also got some snacks, so excuse me for snacking. So it looks like the black flags are the pirates that we need to avoid. If you want to avoid a battle. Then another look at point we can get. Hold on. Where are we? Point. Fast travel point. Right on the shore. Synchronization complete. Force travel unlocked. Got two on Ubiria. <laughs> Skyros. Ooh, Asterion's over there. Yeah, ship. Hmm. After Asterion lost his parents to the Persian invasion, his wife to a tempest, his children, his friends, his shipmates. You no longer sail for love, but desire to avenge their deaths. But how many dead were left to float in the Styrians' wake? Hundreds of thousands? And when did those dead rise up, avenge themselves, and put them down to sleep of those you loved? Hmm. Maybe time for that one? He's a pirate. Might be able to go after him. Yeah. 
Well, the sailing man. Watch out for the whale! with the rumored ancient civilization ruins you were talking about? It is indeed. Look for a large gate. So, the question is, do we need to? Ram into our ship. the ship dock maybe. the message we can talk. Ready the ship for docking! It's in the western part of the abandoned forest. Hi guys. Bulls, apparently. No more than Andros, land of a plunder. Not close to your target, call Ecos.
Blut. Ist das ein Tor? Ich habe nie so etwas gesehen. Oh, ein Blut. Ich habe einen Blut. Ich habe einen Blut. Ich habe einen Blut. Ich habe einen Blut. Wie komme ich in die Tür? Ich wundere mich. Spear of the Honey, das war weg. So, this character's mother was Leonidas' daughter. Who's there? Come out! Hesitation only hastens. The grave, I know, Mater. Your form is improving. Your resolve is strong. But you're not taking action. I was going to. I know. But it's the moments in between that decide everything. Your turn. Leonida's spear. You're old enough now. My father's spear holds a certain burden, but you're ready. So it was about the generation before. I felt something. Oh? Huh? The spear. It has magic. Carries with it a long line of power, a bloodline of incredible heroes. The same blood within you and me and our family. All of us? Think of Leonidas. He had great courage. And he made a great sacrifice. You share his blood and the strength he possessed. We are able to feel certain things happening around us. That is our family's gift. But not everyone understands that. Some recognize the power we bear and want it only for themselves. They will try to take it from us. I won't let them. I know. You're a warrior. If we keep moving forward, always moving forward, we're untouchable. Storms coming in. Then maybe we should move forward now. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so that's where she got the spear. I haven't forgotten you. Listen to it. Hmm. Secrets. Okay. So if we can get out, it's not a one-way key. Gods. Who built on this? Ancient forge. So we've already discovered that one location we couldn't get into that. How does a place like this exist? We might be able to get in now. Over there. That's shiny. Oh. Yeah, so some of these you'd probably want like a mini map of just the current zone. Marcos would be like, how profitable is this? Something's glowing over there. Something's glowing over there. What? Also, picture time. 
Every once in a while I just get this urge to stand completely still, as if somebody has to capture this moment for posterity. And the meme is lost for significance. Ooh, hello. Track. The spear of Leonidas. Wow. The engine symbols. No others. Letter yeah. Hmm. Letter yeah. The ancient, ancient flash alien. Themos, the forge. I knew I let you stay in the animus too long. Your vitals are crashing. You don't understand. This confirms it. Cassandra didn't just have Isu technology. She had the means to improve it. Imagine how powerful the staff could be. I admit, that could be an incredible find. But right now, I'm the doctor, and I take care of you. Now get some rest before you go back to Cassandra. You're right, I'll take a break. If you insist, but only because I've got work to do on the outside. Please, just clear your head. The last thing we need is a cell leader suffering from the bleeding effect and spearing us because we're Hittites or Thracians. I won't. The Thracians throw great parties. Don't forget, we're a team. We'll back you up until you're finished your investigation. I know. Kyoshi secured the loft yesterday and he's keeping an eye out. Elena's on call doing historical research. And I'm here to talk if you're feeling any confusion from the Animus. Always the therapist. What do you think of the mission so far? So, Doctor, how do you feel now that we're closer than ever to the staff? I believe this staff is important. But the Templars and Assassins have found staves of Eden before. Nikolai Tesla blew one up in Russia, if I remember correctly. This is different. If what I saw in Egypt is true, this staff doesn't control minds. It controls physics. Time. Imagine rewriting the rules of the universe. The spear you found is right here, and it's not doing anything. The spear is attached to a bloodline. Leonidas, Cassandra, and Themos, I mean, Alexios, they were intimately connected to it. Are you sure you can use the Staff of Hermes, then? No. But if the Templars get it, they won't stop until they find someone who can. Okay, so we are after the Staff of Hermes. What do you think of the new Animus? So, what do you think of my new Animus? You mean, our new Animus? That's Abstergo equipment. Which I've modified to within a millimeter of its digital life. It's an Animus console prototype, Brahmin variant, with the IO capacities pushed to their max. Ultra portable with more calculating power than NASA and CERN combined. It's enough now. I'll go stretch my legs. Too bad we don't have access to the Abstergo gym anymore, huh? Membership costs too much. <gasps> hmm. Jack. Eagles are fine and all, but a pet monkey would be even cooler. The center of the universe, circa 400 BCE. Mm -hmm. I should check my email. Check my email. Welcome, Leila Hassan. Rainy, 15 degrees Celsius. Packing for Greece. Who is Aletheia? Getting the team together. Who is Aletheia? Slide 1 Isu Architecture, Slide 2 Capitoline Isu Juno Hermes Aletheia Isu Architecture So the Isu aka Precursors or those who came before, they're humanoid and they're ancient. They have triple helix DNA and six primary senses. The Isu say they have created Homo sapiens to serve them and who knows if they're wrong. Abstergo classifies them as Homo sapiens diviners, though they waffle on whether they're gods or not. Sometimes individuals, individual issues say they aren't, but usually they act like they are. They like to give themselves god names anyway. Issue architecture. Oh, I was reading on the left hand side. LH. 
Wait, weren't the ancient gods named after them? Sort of a chicken and egg situation. We know that the Isu had other names before they took on the ones we know, like Juno was also called Uni. And just to check, Alethea is not a goddess's name, is it? God it was, literally means truth, but if you ask Heidegger, no, not literally, he's dead, it means the disclosure of truth. They dedicated huge chunks of philosophy to defining exactly what that meant. What's the short version? Alethea is <coughs> unconcealedness as opposed to correspondence, which is truth as accurate definitions of reality, or coherence, which is truth as statements that are consistent with the rest of reality. Okay, I think I'll leave the philosophy to you while I handle tech. Deal? Okay, works well. Capital line Isu. So the next thing to realize is that there is Isu and then there's Isu, I S U and then there's Isu. The main movers and shakers are, well, were the capital line triad Jupiter, Minerva, and Juno. <coughs> Those three were scientists who formed a team to save the world from being destroyed by a solar flare. They were like superheroes with ulterior motives. Jupiter and Minerva appeared to sympathize with humans but really only seemed to make a move after the Toba catastrophe nearly snuffed us out. Juno wasn't in it for the issue, but mostly for herself. One of those world saving solutions was the eye that killed Desmond, wasn't it? Exactly, it worked short term but long term seems more iffy. If iffy is a word you can use when you're talking about the end of the world as we know it. Alethea did seem to imply that reality was shifting, or that multiple realities were shifting as calculations were made. I thought you were leaving me the philosophy. Slide 3 Juno. Juno, so one of the most powerful Isu was Juno. She raised an army of followers trying to help her and her husband Aita get bodies. She wanted to move out of the grey, or a virtual existence, in some kind of spiritual tech hybrid afterlife. And the Phoenix Project was going to do just that. That the plan was so dangerous that neither the SM nor Templar could take it on alone, so we teamed up for a while. Layla, I heard about your colleague Charlotte de la Cruz. I'm sorry, so am I. Great question. So I know Mr. Berg used some special explosives to make sure there wasn't any DNA left. But wouldn't there be some trace of the co -E nor I mean, you'd think some shards of such a powerful artifact would have survived. Uh, when Berg blows something up, he blows it up with extreme prejudice. That side is sterilized. Uh, so another weird question, how did Kiyoshi, Galena and Arend get away then? Too soon, Alana, too soon. So this is probably all the different uh, Assassin's Creed games that we didn't follow. Hermes, we didn't know much about this Isu except that he was one. The Greeks and Egyptians both worshipped him, his special followers called themselves Hermeticists. The god Hermes, particularly in the form of Hermes Trismegistus, was all about magic and alchemy and his staff is the inspiration for the Caduceus. In theory he met Pythagoras and gave him his staff. We're better, betting on a lot on that theory. We've extrapolated that the staff is the key to the issue equations of reality theory. Based on the information we got in Egypt, the issue are convinced that under understanding the mathematical rules of the universe is the basis to changing it. Are you convinced? I'm convinced it might be true. And that's enough to make that staff very powerful and very, very dangerous. And Alethea. So who is Alethea? She, that's a guess I didn't record her using any pronouns, called herself that. She has a grudge against the rest of the Isu for their godlier than thou attitude. The Isu unified front showed cracks before, like that time Minerva and Juno argued in front of Desmond or when Conscious reached through time to contact the assassin behind Juno's back. But this is a new level of insubordination. So they're kind of using the animus to talk to the people in the present time through their ancestors. Kind of these really advanced beings. Fortunately for us, Alethea seems to be on humanity's side. Yeah, she reminds me of Martin Luther nailing his 95 thesis to a church door. Maybe this is the start of the great Isu schism. She's got a knack for naming things, you know that? Thanks, boss. Besides, she's a hacker. I like her. Hacking? That's what she was doing to the retransmissions. Sorry, I realize that's more my department than yours. You heard the voice change, right? That's when the retransmission got hacked, replaced right under the issue's metaphorical nose. How do you think she did it? Good question. If you want a brute force of the problem, try all the security pr protocols until you find one that works. Then lock everyone else out so that they can't undo your work. Or, if you're analog, get a stronger transmitter Mexican radio style. 
And the Thayer's big advantage is having all the time in the world to find a solution. Like Consus, she seems to be able to see the multiple to see multiple times at once and communicate across them. Or multiple realities. I only wish I could do that kind of multitasking. If anyone, if anyone could, it would be you, boss. Okay. Packing for Greece. Animus console prototype variant. Accessing extrapolated data reconstruction subject, descendant of Leonidas. Estimate accuracy 76.3. Are you comfortable with the rate of accuracy? We're using a centuries old text to supplement the DNA memory from centuries old blood. Hopefully the gaps will overlap. Understood. Berg had a problem with simulations rated below 80%. Berg has lots of problems. <laughs> <coughs> Officially Hellenic Republic, historically Hellas. First signs of human ancestors 270,000 BCE. Earlier civilization 3,200 BCE. Independence from Ottoman Empire declared 1821. Joint European communities now European unity 1981. Successively part of the Roman Empire, Byzantine Empire, Venetian territory, then Ottoman Empire. Mountainous countryside with Mediterranean climate called the birthplace of Western culture by historians. Oh, different uh, pictures. Okay. Herodotus and his work. Herodotus, called the father of history, influential family Herodotus, was himself forced to go into exile in Thanos, but then took part in a coup that overthrew Lictimus. Studied and wrote his history travel books, gave public lectures, gained fame and drachmi. Greatest work was his history, relies on interviews rather than records, which generally didn't exist anyway. Accuracy disputed, but influence undeniable. His work is credited with saving a mass of invaluable information on archaic and early classical Greece. His work is methodical and extensive. He wrote about Greece and surrounding areas. He traveled to the Black Sea, visited the Scythians, and lived in Egypt for months. His books were like travel guides to the ancient world. True, though some of his work on non Greek cultures was uh, specious. You mean that there wasn't a tribe of cannibals in India who threw feasts with their deceased friends as both guests of honor and the main course? I'll say hard no to that. Let's hope his lost book doesn't include that kind of cultural glitch. From what I've been able to interpret so far, he does mention a group of ancient geniuses who sounds suspiciously like the East. His lost book is supposed to contain the story of a heretofore unknown hero who was a descendant of Leonidas of Sparta and we know the spear of Leonidas is an issue artifact. Leave it to the father of history to connect the dots. Spear of Leonidas. Rumored to be a powerful and deadly hand-to-hand -hand weapon, easy technology capable of multiple improvements, unpredictable mental effects, genetic memory storage passed down from Leonidas the first to his grandchild. Ah, so our character is actually then the grandchild of Leonidas. Unpredictable mental effects, genetic and memory storage. Okay, the Quebec caper. You see, file one setup. I mean, how did you manage that? Let's just say I left a crypto key under the doormat in case Abstergo escorted me out. Was your hands right? Yep, just in time. They have a location. Notre Dame and the Quebec, but can't find the relic. I'm sure it must be there. Hmm, guess they don't have a Catholic on their team like you do. No way, Quebec City, here we come. Subject potential descendant. Recollect those who possess the ability of a recollection. 15th century order of Franciscan monks. 1614 King Louis XIII requested that Samuel de Champlain take a selection of recollects to Canada. Order was abruptly disbanded upon a return to France. Operative redacted, tracing bloodline redacted. Recollects friars. Father Denis Jamet, Jean de Bou, Joseph Le Caron, Brother Pacifique de PC, Nicolas Ville. Drowned in 1925. Location Cathedral Basilica of Notre Dame de Quebec. Four centuries of treasures and archives here. 900 people buried under the cathedral excavation uncovered hidden relics. Operative summary search of Cathedral Basilica of Notre Dame de Quebec. Target item not found. Operative update September 5, 2017. Agents have the location under surveillance awaiting a new Dell. Plan. 
Cathedral, Basilica, Notre Dame, Quebec, Architectural Masterpiece, 1633, Historical Landmark, and a Blood Repository. Relic is in here somewhere, crypt. Pretty. Victoria, our good Catholic girl, says valuable relics are often moved to altar. Problem Church, Golden Jubilee, crowded with congregants in, on pilgrimage. 